13 Eyewitness News this morning. There's a lot of questions about why he did what he did, but the timing of it certainly does look like it had to do with the fact that he lost his reelection campaign. This is happening the day after the election, telling these, asking these juvenile offender, offenders that they were going to kill anyone, saying something along the lines of, I guess that's what the voters want, that sort of thing, as he was releasing uh, these juveniles. I can tell you that Judge Glenn Devlin was not at work today. He was not at work, and he apparently is not going to be at work for the rest of the week as well, Notice, noticeably absent. The judge not in court, his seat vacant. Court staff could not say when the judge would be back or if this was a planned day off. An associate judge then handled all the caseload this morning. Attorneys we spoke with said, you know, Devlin is sort of in the middle of the road when it comes to keeping kids in custody or releasing them to their parents while their cases make their way through the court system. So he said the actions necessarily weren't out of character as far as releasing the kids. However, asking him those, these questions and then, of course, releasing four kids that were told uh, that may have been arrested for aggravated robbery charges that raise a lot of eyebrows in the DA's office and even with the ACLU. Parents of kids who came here today for different cases say that they wish that they had been in court yesterday to be on the receiving end of Devlin's leniency. It's ridiculous. I have been here dealing with my son's personal business for two months and they've just given us the runaround about this and this. And again, we've been told just a few moments ago that Devlin will not be in court for the rest of the week. We'll have to wait to see if he shows up to work on Monday. Report this news this morning. This news this morning. District Court Judge Glenn Devlin released all the juveniles on his docket after asking them that question. And Judge Devlin would not ever normally ask that question of a juvenile. A strange turn of events inside the 313th yeah, District yeah. Court this morning. Judge Glenn Devlin on the bench just hours after being voted out of office, along with all of his Republican colleagues in the midterm sweep by Democrats, with a question he doesn't normally ask, says public defender Steve Halpert. If I release you, will you go out and murder anybody? And so if juveniles said no, they were they were released. In the end, 10 to 12 juveniles, including Halpert's client, were released, many accused of violent offenses. Devlin didn't respond to a request for comment. In a statement, Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg said, quote, we oppose the wholesale release of violent offenders at any age. This could endanger the public. Out of character is how Halpert describes this move. Devlin, a judge since 2010, alluded to the election results. I just think this was a post-election kind of a weird blip. Um, you know, he made a comment that this is obviously what the voters wanted. Uh, by elect and I think the implication there is that by electing all Democratic judges, there's this belief that Democratic judges are going to be soft on crime. And there's and again, Judge Devlin did not respond to several requests for comment. He does have another docket tomorrow morning, and it will be interesting to see if it's a repeat of today.